Kelly, let me see if I can help you out just a little bit. This is what you're trying to recreate right here. I'm just going to slide this out of my way so that I can use it to refer to, and you can get a clear view of Design Space. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Design Space. And to create your own image, if there's not one, you can search in um, Images. And come up here, and I'm going to type in Bobber because it's a fishing bobber. Oops. Let's just try that again. My internet may be trying to mess with me here. Let's just go to new, go to images, and let's try that again. B-O-B-B-E-R. And we have a little something close, but it's not quite exactly what they have there but we can we can work with this so let's go ahead let's just pick this one it looks fine I'm gonna insert it and I am going to come up here and I am going to ungroup now I'm only going to use part of this image I don't need all of it um, as a matter of fact I'm going to get rid of this gray one no I'm not going to use that gray one I'm going to line this up so that we have our bobber pieces. Let's go align and let's center those back up where I, oops, align bottom. That might be better. That's good enough. I'm going to select those two and I'm going to slice it. All I want is that one piece there. I'm going to get rid of that. You can only slice two layers at a time. That's why I ungrouped it. Don't need that. I'm going to select this and I can slice off these pieces down here if I want, um, but there's no need. I'm going to go bottom right and click contour and I'm going to hide this piece, this piece, and this piece. Click back on it and I just have that little topper there. That's all we want. And this one is, they have theirs kind of straight up and down. And if you want it straight up and down, you can work with it and do that. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. But we're just going to leave that like it is. And I'm going to get a shape and get a circle. And now I'm just going to size that circle down. Right about there, that looks good. I'm going to come up here to the line type and the color. And I'm going to make that circle red. I'm going to arrange and send it to the back. And look here, it looks pretty much lined up right there. I can make that a little bit bigger. It looks pretty good to me right there. I'm going to take these two pieces, just going to drag a box around them, and I'm going to weld. If you want to leave them separated, you can. Uh, it's just going to be little pieces for you to keep up with. I'm going to arrange and move that white piece back to the front. Well, it's actually 10. And there you go. You have your bobber. Now let's select everything and group it. I'm just going to get rid of that shadow layer that was from the original image. We don't need that. And you want to group everything and then stretch it to size. So if you're doing a banner, I'm going to say maybe around 5 to 6 inches is what you want your little bobber to be. And then you can ungroup it then if you want to. So you're just going to glue this piece right on top. I'm going to unlock that and skew it just a little bit more to cover that edge. So now you're just going to lock it back. You're just going to use this as your, let me align that up. There we go. And now I'm going to group it. And there's a reason for that. We're going to go back and we're going to get a circle because you're using this for a banner. You need some holes. So we need some little bitty holes to run your cord through, and I'm going to say anywhere from 0 0.25, 0 0.15 is probably going to be good. So I'm going to make that 0 0.15. And you want your banner to hang straight. So we're going to probably put one right there, and I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to bring one over to this side. Again, if you want yours to hang straight up and down like they have it, you can twist this. You're just going to twist it. But I think it's really cute tilted to the side. So I'm 
going to do that. I'm going to undo my tilt. I don't want it tilted. The biggest thing with Design Space is actually learning um, all the functions. And if you watch those videos that I showed you, they're going to help you with that. So I've got those about where I want them to be on each side. I'm going to select the two dots. You saw me do that. I'm going to align top because we want them to be even. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to weld, making this one piece. I am going to duplicate it and I am going to select the two, just the two dot things, and I'm going to align center. I want them perfectly centered, okay? And now I'm going to click off of it. I'm coming to my layers panel, and I'm going to click the weld result, which is the dots. I'm just getting one of them. I'm going to hold my shift key and get the bobber top, okay? And I'm. you see that slice is available. You can only slice two layers at a time. I have four layers, but I've only selected two. So I'm going to slice. I'm going to move that out of the way. Look there, we have some holes. And there, that was just a ghosted image. I really didn't want to move that, so let me go back. You don't want to move your... There we go. I'm just going to move the white one out of the way. You want to leave your dots where they're at. Going to select the dots again. Here's another way to do it and select the image. You can hold your shift key and select them in the layers panel or here. Just have two layers selected. You see them darkened gray and slice. And now I'm just going to drag around because you're going to have extra holes from where we sliced. There's where we sliced out of the white and the red, and there's the dots that we used for slicing. We're just going to get rid of those by selecting them and delete. We get rid of all of those. We're almost done. Now we're going to arrange and send that back to the back. We've got this. So when you glue it down, now you have holes to run your cord through. And now we need some text. You've got five, six, seven, eight months. Um, so you're just going to basically here, and that has a shadow layer in the word months so you can have it write the word months or you can flatten for print and cut and let's just do uh, both to show you and let's pick a cute font let's see what they have there and you can go in and change this we're just going to pick something um, Emma Ray looks cute. And you see that the letters are not touching. We want them to touch. So we're coming up here to our letter space. And you will only see that if you've got your text selected. And we're going to shrink that down. And bring them in. And I've got my M and my O, but the rest aren't touching. So I'm going to hit advanced and ungroup to letters. And this S is over just a little too far. I'm going to hold my shift key and slide it over so it stays lined up. And then I'm going to select the, let's go over just a tiny bit more. There we go. I'm going to select that S and the H, hold my shift key, slide it in. I'm going to select the three letters, hold the shift, slide it in, select all four, hold the shift, slide it in. Now they are, they are lined up. We're going to select them all and weld. And then we have the months that we can sit here. Now, if you want to curve it, you have to curve it before you ungroup to letters, okay? Otherwise, you're going to lose your curve option. And you can make that any color you want. Um, let's see if we do it in the white. You can see it there. If you select... Let's move this out of the way. Put We've got it lined up. Flatten, selecting them and flatten. When you do, it's going to print all this red and it's not going to print this on your cardstock. It's going to leave that white. White is the only color that doesn't print. That's a lot of ink for these. 
So I'm going to suggest maybe choosing another color other than what they did. The black looks really cute on it. And we're going to change all that back to cut. Let's cut. So there we go. Everything is on cut. And you can check that up here at line type. It's going to tell you right here, cut, cut, cut. So you can flatten that on there, like I said, for print and cut. If you um, have red card stock and want to do print and cut, you'll need to change this piece to white. White is the only color that doesn't print. And then you'll just flatten these two. And I know it looks weird, but you can see that will print and then it will cut that shape out of red cardstock. Put your red cardstock in there instead of white and it will turn out just like you want it to. It will, it will be nice and pretty. That will save you a lot of ink because if you leave it red, it's going to print all of that red ink and then print your black on there. And you don't want that. So if you want to print and cut, you can do that or you can cut these and glue those on as well. Or you can cut them out of vinyl and put vinyl on there if you want. The next thing you need are your numbers. So again, you're going to go into text and type your numbers. We can do one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I missed my four, didn't I? Or my finger was faster. Four, five, and I'm putting a space between each one of these. And now you have all your numbers, but they don't have a shadow. This does not have a shadow layer. What you need to do is come to your filter and you want multi-layer so that you can find something that has um, multiple layers in it and base camp is a really good one um, I think I own that but I don't know but base camp you can see it has shadow layers we just have to unhide them so now I've got my numbers here we can change them this one actually has three layers we don't want that big fat one so I'm just gonna hide it by clicking on the eyes and now we have all of our numbers but we need to size those so I'm going to just going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, your eight and, or your seven might be your widest one. Let's slide this over so we can see it while we stretch it. Oops, wrong piece. I'm going to undo. There we go. And stretch it by using my handle. And it's tossing it over to the side because we're off the mat over there. And that's okay. Needs scrunch down so we can see. And that looks pretty good. So now I have my numbers. Slide back over here. And those look like, hmm, that's a little big. Well, they went right up to the edge with there. So that's pretty good. That's going to work. You just have to tilt your numbers. So you can leave those grouped or ungrouped. But we're going to change the color like they have them. So I am going to come up here to this first one. You have to select it in the layers panel or it's going to change everything. And let's see, they did a light blue and a dark blue. So there's your light blue. And then we're going to select the second color in the layers panel. And let's go with a dark blue. There we go. And now we have the numbers that sit right up on top of there. There's your banner. You're ready. All you have to do is cut. And what I would do is I would cut this separate. So I would hide this group just by clicking right up here on this eye. And I would hit make it. So I'm not bogging down design space. And if you're doing nine months, you're going to need nine. So we're going to apply the number nine and apply. Now all of our words in the months are going to cut right here in black all of our red ones are going to cut all of our white ones and you can even move these let's select one move it to another mat let's bring it over here and say confirm we might be able to get enough of them on there mm, no not gonna let us there's no maybe if we turn all of them up on end because design space sees this little box that doesn't see the shape we might be able to eh, doesn't look like it but 
Oh well, it's still going to show you how you can maneuver to make room if there was room to get them in here. Because I can get three on a row, but I think my row is taller. So it's going to give me the same amount. But just go in and play. It's not going to hurt you to go in. You're not going to hurt anything. So I'm just going to cancel that because it's not going to let me. I'm going to hit make it again. Change this to nine. I'm going to click apply. It's not going to allow me to save any extra paper. So I'm going to have to cut out of two sheets, uh, which is fine. You're still going to have some scraps for other things, but you're ready to go. So you're going to hit continue. You're going to hit um, let it read your machine. My machine is on. And then you're going to select, if you're making this from cardstock, select cardstock, whatever it is that you're doing. Then after you've cut these pieces, hit can or go back to the canvas. And then you're going to select all of this. And you're going to uh, group them and hide that group unhide this group, hit make it, oops, let me cancel that, I don't want that bottom layer, there we go, and hit make it, and because they're all grouped, you can see it's going to go to a 24 inch mat, so we'll hit cancel, let's fix that, go to advanced, ungroup two letters, there you go, and make it, and now you can see you can get it all on one mat. So you're going to cut all your numbers. And then you're just going to assemble. So that's how easy it is to recreate. Uh, once you have everything cut. Let me. I want to group all of these still. I'm going to group it. And hide that group. Or shrink it down. And ungroup this. So here you have the banner just exactly how you want to make it. I don't know why. I'm just going to... You'll have to go in. I would just get rid of that layer before. I'm going to leave it in there just in case you want it. Um, and you can... It's going to charge you $4.99 if you don't own this font. And you would have to pay for that. Or you can swap out these numbers for something that you do own. Just get rid of it and swap it. So... You have everything that you need here. I'm going to save this as a bobber banner. And I'll share this with you. But I really do want you to go through and practice and, and make this. And make one up for yourself. It's going to help you learn design space. Because if I do it all for you every time, you're really not learning anything new. But this is going to allow you to be able to create. So... What if there's not an image that matches? And by the way, you're going to need to glue your clothespin to the back of this that holds the photos. So don't forget that part. But what if they didn't have a bobber? You can still make this by inserting a couple of circles and duplicating, making one red. Let's make one white. That one's off white, but this will keep them separate. And then let's get a square. And that one's kind of rounded off, but that's okay. And I'm going to duplicate my square. And I'm just going to set these to the side. And if you want to do your straight across like they did, you can do this a couple of ways. Don't need that one, actually. And... Let's see, we need a curve going that way. So, I'm going to take these two. I'm going to unlock one. And look what happens when I unlock it and skew it up a little bit. Okay, so that, uh, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little less curve. And I'm going to take those two. And slice it. Remember you can slice two layers. Now let's get rid of the trash. That's not trash. We want to keep that. Look at there. have the top of the bobber. And I have the bottom of the bobber. And now I need 
that little red square on the top, but it, it's kind of rounded here. So let's get a circle and I'll shrink that circle down till it's sitting on the top. If you make them the same width, that's 1148. Let's make that 1.148. I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to align. Oh, I didn't miss one. There we go. Oops. Let's select them this way. Hold my shift. Align. Center it horizontally. That's a little too much curve. Don't want that much. So let me duplicate. Just going to slice that circle. I don't want that much of round. I'm just going to slice it. Again, get rid of the trash. And now let's make that the same, almost the same width. pretty good and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it vertical let's kind of line that up and you'll see we're, we're gonna need that let me stretch that a little too that looks good so now let's weld that up oops crowding myself up here. I'm going to unlock it and stretch it down. Just skew it up. Just play around till you get the kind of shape that you want. There we go. That looks pretty good. And it's not perfect. In the real world, I would make that really, really, really good. I'm going to weld those two. Making it one piece. Oops. I welded it to that one. I just contour. Are y'all contours? Duplicate it. Contour. I'm going to swap that out. Contour the other one. There we go. And now I can place this right up here on top. And hold those, and I am going to weld, making that one piece arrange, send that to the back, and now I'm going to bring this over, and I'm just going to kind of slice out right there. Select those two, and slice. Get rid of that trash. I have a little hanger on there. I'm going to contour it out. We don't need that. And there we go. So now it's you can you can get there just by using some shapes. So if you don't have access, I'm going to save this in there. You're going to have to put your holes in here just like I showed you on this one. But there you are. Basically, same thing, ready to go. Just a little variation. Very super simple. If you still need more help, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. But please go in and practice and try this. And let's see. We're pretty close. So there you go. You have a wonderful day. I hope that this tutorial has helped you out. And if you need any more help, please just let me know.